FTP may not be the newest file transfer method, but it's still one of the simplest and fastest ways to move data in automation systems. Since it's lightweight and pre-configured into Seymour, files like logs, trend graphs, and screenshots can transfer instantly, keeping your system running smoothly with minimal delay. While running as a server, interacting with the project files are as simple as browsing the files in your own PC. In this video, we'll walk through how to set up FTP access in just a few steps. There are several different ways for the Seymour to communicate with another device through the FTP protocol. As a server, as a client, and as a client via passive FTP. The first thing will be to configure Seymour as an FTP client, allowing the HMI panel to send files directly to the targeted server by an HMI event. Let's add the server information to the project. In the development software, go to the database ribbon and select address book. From here, select the FTP Server tab and click Add. Here we add the FTP server information. The name is user-defined and is there to make selecting the server in the Event Manager easier. Add the IP address and the folder path for the connection. If left blank, the files will just be written to the default folder on the server. Checking this box will enable passive FTP. It's a more secure way of using a client since the client initiates the transfer. If there's a username and password on the server, add it here. Otherwise, check this box for anonymous access. Click OK, then OK to exit out of the address book. That's all you need to do to connect on the Seymour side. Now, let's configure an event to send files using this connection. For this example, we'll have the project send a copy of the alarm log each evening at 10 p.m. From the database ribbon, select Event Manager. Select Add. For the trigger, select Date and Time. In the Start Time field, enter 2200 for the time, then deselect Repeat. Under Action, at the bottom of the screen, select this icon to add an FTP action. Select the FTP server we added earlier in the Send Address field. Click Select Send Files. Here are all the files the HMI can send. Select Alarm Log File, then click OK. Click Add, then Close. Now, here you see the saved event. If you need to edit the event, select the event and click Edit, or just double click the event name. Otherwise, click OK. Now, while running, the HMI will send the file as scheduled. You can also set up Seymour as an FTP service. This would allow any FTP client to retrieve files stored on the panel's external memory devices, or to send certain files to the panel, like recipes. To set up the Seymour as a server, go to the Setup ribbon. Select Panel Network. Go to the FTP Service page. Then click Execute Panel FTP Server Service. Under almost all conditions, the port should remain as default. The user restrictions indicate the number of FTP clients that can be connected simultaneously. As the service will always be on, it's highly recommended to add a password to protect your files. Select Account and Password, then define your credentials. Click OK. Now, when running, the Seymour will be active as an FTP server. Since we're on the same network, we'll use Windows File Explorer to browse Seymour's external storage using FTP, but the basic principle is the same for any FTP client software. Open Windows Explorer. In the address field, type FTP colon slash slash, then the IP address of the HMI panel. Press Enter and the Log On As dialog will open, prompting you for a username and password. If anonymous access is turned off, enter the account name and password we defined earlier. If it's turned on, check this box. Click Log On, and you'll now have access to Seymour Storage. One great thing about running Seymour as an FTP server is the ability to add the panel as a network location. 
Right-click this PC and select Add a Network Location. In the wizard, select Choose a Custom Network Location, then click Next. On this screen, in the address field, enter the FTP address we used earlier. Click Next. Uncheck Log On Anonymously, then enter the account name. Click Next. Enter a descriptive name so you can easily identify the Seymour panel. Click Next again. Verify the information and click Finish. From here on, anytime the Seymour panel is running, you can interact with it the same way as any other network drive. Just select the folder, enter the password when prompted, and you're ready to go. Seymour and Automation Direct give you tons of options for interacting with your project. From big to small, we have exactly what you need. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give us a like below. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact our award-winning free technical support. Click here to learn more about the Seymour HMI. Click here to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials, new products, or other Automation Direct videos.